The new Labour-led government is now officially in place. And as our bulletins editor, Dennis Welsh, described to us this afternoon, there are two stages in the life of a government. First you're sworn in, then you're sworn at. For the new Labour-led government, today was very much the first stage. And after meeting the Governor-General, Dame Patsy Reddy, for the swearing-in ceremony, our new Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, and her ministers arrived back at Parliament this afternoon to a rapturous welcome from a large crowd. Our political reporter, Sarah Robson, was there. Your Excellency, I submit your signature, a warrant appointing Jacinda Ardern as Prime Minister of New Zealand. At a ceremony at Government House this morning, Jacinda Ardern was officially sworn in as New Zealand's 40th Prime Minister. She and her ministers signed their warrants and took their oaths and affirmations under the watchful eye of the Governor-General, Dame Patsy Reddy. At the end of the formal ceremony, Ms Ardern had this to say. We have a responsibility now to all New Zealanders to do our very best to achieve the goals of this government. To be a government that is active, that is focused, that is empathetic and that is strong. Back at Parliament, hundreds gathered on the front lawn waiting for Ms Ardern to arrive. Making good on a deal to play on the grounds of Parliament if she became Prime Minister, some of the members of Wellington band Fat Freddy's Drop came to perform on the forecourt. When the bus with the new Prime Minister and her ministers pulled up and Ms Ardern stepped out, a big cheer went up. Surrounded by her ministers, Ms Ardern told the crowd it was an honour and a privilege to introduce them to their new government. Someone asked me during and asked me anything during the campaign whether or not we could have a public inauguration and whether or not Fat Freddy's Drop could play. <laughs> we caught her of the way there. <laughs> With the formalities done and dusted, it's down to business for the new government, with a cabinet meeting for the first time this afternoon. Speaking on the parliamentary forecourt, Ms Ardern told reporters she intends to set up a dedicated child poverty unit in her department. I'm looking to establish uh, a unit within DPMC that will have oversight of things like uh, child poverty measures so that we can make sure that we are reducing child poverty in New Zealand. And Ms Ardern says she will give more detail about the government's first 100-day plan after next Tuesday's Cabinet meeting. Very little will change, um, but I will be making sure that we highlight again the exact programme that sits around that 100-day plan. Is there, uh, there may well be a mini budget in there. There may well be a mini budget. In what does that mean? I mean, you'd actually pass it and call it a mini budget. Uh, there are elements of it that could be wrapped into a mini budget. We're seeking advice on whether that's required. Ms Ardern says she has already started work on the ban on foreign purchases with colleagues and officials and will present the plan as soon as she is able. Atu i te whare pare mata mo te hōtaka o te ahi ahi, ko Sarah Robson, aho. Now, as she travelled to Government House from Parliament in the car to be sworn in, I spoke with Jacinda Ardern this morning. You can hear that interview after six o'clock tonight. It is a pretty lengthy interview, big picture stuff. What does she really hope to achieve? And if you're not near the radio after six, it will be available on the Checkpoint website page and also on the Checkpoint Facebook page.